Another area of your life to tackle, the closet. Removing just a few items and rethinking the way you wear some of your favorites could be the game changer you need to refresh your look inside and out. That's right, and joining us now is the fashion guy, uh -huh. Lauren Sarin, with a step-by-step -step guide to reworking your wardrobe. We all need this advice. Lawrence, welcome to the show. Hey ladies, it is so lovely being with you, and yes, this is what plagues every single woman, and I will say even a few men, when it comes to <laughs> what to wear, what to keep, and what should I do. Okay, so Lawrence, you say the first step to getting organized in the closet is to do your homework. Do your homework in the sense of go through your wardrobe and do a little bit of a checklist. See what's out there and ask yourself what are the things that you can add to your wardrobe that you don't already have because so many people and i don't want to point names andrea <laughs> go shopping <laughs> and they're buying repetitive things because they know number one it works and number two it looks familiar so say hello again to your wardrobe and just go through everything i think that is the most important and even before you go shopping if your wardrobe is all messed up, this is the time that you really start going through it. Holding on to certain things because it means something and letting go of other things because it just doesn't suit you and where you're at right now in your life. Now, your next step is to take action. Now, is that letting go part of taking action? Well, what are those action steps that we need to take? Take action is going through everything in your wardrobe. You know, when you think about it, your wardrobe is your biggest relationship in many ways because it's where you're grabbing things to layer onto your body. So the action is go through your wardrobe and take a walk down memory lane. And so many women, especially women, because women sort of live in that emotional state, and I understand that. <laughs> is they hold on to things because it means something. But, you know, I was talking to Andrea the other day, and I was talking about how women shop for inspiration. So they'll buy something that is two sizes too small because they think that's the incentive for them to lose weight. But every single time you look at that piece of clothing, it tells you, number one, you're not good enough. Number two, you're not going to fit into this. And number three, it's sort of like an emotional cut. Mm -hmm. So if there are things in your wardrobe that aren't the right size, why are you holding on to them? If there are things in your wardrobe that remind you of something horrible, mm -hmm. that's what, wait, hold on. Oh, look over there. That's the past. The past is gone. Mm -hmm. It should only be things that make you feel good. That's good. It's, that's a great explanation because it's really redoing the wardrobe from the inside out, meaning inside yourself and, and reflecting what's on the outside. So, Lawrence, what do you see as the wardrobe trends for 2023? Yes. You've, you've touched on a few of them, and storing your intentions is really important. Oh, I love that. Store intentions in your wardrobe. Last thing I'll say quickly, if it's torn, if it's ripped, if there's lots of food on it, and it's too damaged, get rid of it. Also, don't forget to uh, invite some of your girlfriends over because then you can do a clothes swap party. That's always fun. And if you're not wearing it or they're not taking it, give it to a charity or a donation place. And then in, rec in, in regards to the trends, start with classics. Because over the last couple of years, everybody's had to regroup, refresh, restart. So start with the classics and then build from there. Every woman should have a mid rinse, a medium rinse pair of dark jeans. It's not super dark, it's not super light, it's a medium rinse, and I always say a boot cut. That's a generic, mm -hmm. classic, tailored fit. A crisp white button down, and it's a crisp white button down, and it's something that's tailored. You can dress that up, dress it down. A clean, classic pair of khaki pants. And I'm not reinventing the wheel, these are things that Every woman and every man should have in their wardrobe a two-piece suit, a black, a black jacket with a black pair of pants, also some tailored things, classic and key. And if Fantastic you want to know advice. more, just follow me on Instagram at Laura Zarian. Thank you.